This week, Fargo police officer Jason Mosier is among those being remembered and honored in our nation's capital. Joining us live this morning from D.C. is the Valley Today's Christy Larson with more on today's events. Hi, Christy. Well, good morning, guys. As you can see behind me, there's thousands of chairs set up ready for today's events. But we took some time yesterday to visit with the Mosier family, who says this has been a very emotional trip. They've been in the D.C. area since Friday, taking part in a number of programs and ceremonies. And today will be one last emotional journey for them. But when we sat down and talked with them, one of the things Dave Mosier, Jason's father, said to us was, you'd never expect to see your son's name on that wall, but it did make him proud to see it etched in the marble forever. It was pretty hard to look at it at first, but then we all traced his name on a piece of paper, so we all took them and we we're going to frame them, so we had those to remember. I also talked with Chief David Todd, who said that they let the department go on their own times to go and visit Jason's name and memorial. There's pictures and flowers and even some other special items set up around his name, which is located on panel 42 West at the memorial site. Now, later today, the ceremony is going to be taking place and the family does have a special spot set up near the front as they go through this service. And they said they'll hopefully have time to meet up with us afterwards as well. So, guys, we'll have a lot more coming up throughout not only the rest of this morning, but throughout the rest of the day. An emotional day for so many, especially mm -hmm. the Mosher family. Yeah. Christy Larson reporting live from Washington, D.C. Thank you.